Hello. I have a stream crasher. <laughs> Newman absolutely refused to leave the room. Hubby was over there at that computer doing some stuff and I was getting ready to go. Hi, Mass Bandit. I was getting ready to go online. I told him, I'm sorry, you need to you need to go ahead and give me the room. And when he opened the door, a cat come running in. Here comes Newman. And he stood at the door and he called and called and called and called and he wouldn't leave. So Newman is crashing the stream right now. <laughs> yeah. You wanna get yourself oh yeah. Get your face up there. <laughs> I don't know, I got a needy cat. <laughs> he's he's needy today. I don't know. So anyway, welcome to day two of the 12 days of Christmas crafting. And it sounds like, I shouldn't say Christmas crafting because it really is not Christmas stuff I'm doing. It's just a general 12 days that whatever I feel like doing, you know how it is after Christmas, you got new toys to play with and, and uh, all that kind of stuff when you're a kid. And, I sort of feel like a kid today in these 12 days, so I am going to uh, take a look at a uh, pattern book that I got quite a while before the holidays and haven't had a good chance to take a good look at it. So I thought I'd go through that today and I've got some kitty jigsaw puzzles that I've been putting together. came as an advent, puzzle advent. But we may not even get to that because he's not going to let me have the table here, are you? So we have beautiful, beautiful weather, but it was foggy this morning until almost noon. Um, heavy, heavy fog. And I guess uh, watching the news, there's lots of bad weather in various places. So we're lucky right now. It's very spring-like. In fact, I have just... Uh, been putting in orders for seed catalogs for my daughter who has her first house that actually has a garden area and so she's all excited about having a garden but she says mom can I just have your seed catalogs and I said sure and I got to look and then I realized I have not ordered seed catalogs for about five years and the companies have all dropped off. They don't send me any anymore. And I had one. <laughs> so I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and put her name in and send it to her address. And she'll get it in her mailbox. Which is always the best part of early spring. Before it's even warm and the snow's on the ground. I have always loved going through seed catalogs. I have done so many little experiments where I buy a pack of the seeds and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Probably the, the most astounding, I used to garden a very large garden. We used a rototiller up and down. I'd have six rows of green beans. I'd have, you know, two dozen tomato plants because I would put the produce up. I would can it. That was, uh, you know, 30 years ago when I was way younger. And I had more people, I, I just had more people around in my life that I would be feeding uh, my daughter, her friends, you know, and husband's family who have passed on and moved or moved. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Yeah, I, I still am. I think I need to go to the doctor, but I haven't done that yet. Anyway, um, it was always the best part, planting the garden, right? Draw it out on a grid. Say, I'm going to put beans here. I'm going to put tomatoes here. And one year, I mean, I had a really, really big garden. And we were into the make everything. And so we were, we had looked into making beer and we, I knew we needed hops if we were going to do that. 
Alright. So I bought a packet of seeds that said hops. I just figured they'd be like a bee plant or, you know, whatever. And <clears throat> things grew. I kept it weird, I, you know, I wasn't paying too much attention. And I all of a sudden realized <coughs> I had a vine coming up out of the garden, going all the way up a tree that was over the garden. And then I looked up hops and found out it was a vine. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Didn't get hops off of it. <coughs> Alright, excuse me a minute here. Alright, got myself a cough drop. That'll help. I didn't know. You know, talking does make me cough when I have trouble with, uh, with it. What are you biting me for? Huh? What are you biting me for? Okay, I gotta sit up straight here so you can see today's pin. I'm doing 12 pins. <laughs> okay. This is, and I, it's kind of delicate, I, I, it's handmade, so I didn't make it, I bought it, but it's handmade, and the little clip thing, you know, where the pin on the back, I think they just glued it, and I'm, I'm figuring it's probably going to come off the, off there, I don't wear it very often, but isn't that a pretty color, and, and especially against this um, shirt, and it's just a little flower, a little rose. I have so many pins, right, and I I just don't wear them, especially now that I'm retired. Sometimes I'd put some pins on my lab coat, right, and wear some that way. That was always fun. But I thought I would add that to the stream, but unfortunately, let me do this. There. That's better. <laughs> I was going to say, unfortunately, you can't see it. You can see my dead cotton plant back here too. It is, it's just, I'm gonna be putting it on the porch and letting, letting it survive. It's not even gonna survive the winter. It did not do well. I don't know exactly. Um, this is my uh, in, uh, ICU back here. <laughs> All of these plants are were on the verge of dying and I was trying to save them and this particular I don't think any of them are going to make it. I have no idea why, but they just aren't happy. I grew a cotton plant, and I got cotton. I, I had good luck with that, and this one grew, but it never set any flowers, never made any cotton. It just didn't do as well as the first one did. All right, you going to settle down? Hmm? You going to settle down? Hmm? Here's my tiger. Here's my panther. Yeah. We drove into town today, and uh, when we got down to the end of our lane, which is the you know first stint of, before we turn out on the road to go to town, the neighbors have three black, I mean completely black cats. I don't know where they came from. Um, this is the same place that we think Twitch and ghosts came from, the cats that live on our porch, and I told Abby, I said, I hope they don't come down our driveway, our lane, and find our food out there for, and stay. Oh my gosh, I'll have a passel of cats, <laughs> if they do. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what 
to do here. Let me move this cat. If I move this, maybe you'll go over on the bed. door. You want out now? I might be able to let him out. We have an ad break coming in three minutes, so I'm going to be right back again. I'm going to let the cat out. Come on, buddy. Let's see if I can get you outside. Out in the other room. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Good. Cat's out. This has to be the worst start to a stream ever. I, you know, I keep forgetting to go fix those ad things, and that always pops up way before I'm ready. But with with all the goings on with Newman and everything, let me go to the other camera. And see how this is. Yeah, I thought maybe I might need to. Wonder if I put a Simply Beautiful Knitting, which I could not resist <laughs> because of the kitty. Their sticker does not want to peel. There it goes. We have a, a chain called Half Price Books. Oh, I love that place. Actually, their stickers come right off. I don't know what. Maybe they were having trouble with their regular stickers. All right, we are less than a minute. You all are gonna. I'm not gonna do anything until you get back, and uh, ads should only last at the most two minutes, I think. I'm gonna turn my table around while. You're doing that. So I can put my feet underneath the table. There we go. Yeah, this was, oh good, uh, that works.
Hi, Knitter. You'll be back later? Okay. Thank you for saying hi. Emma, okay. Yep. Ads are over. Okay. Very good. Let's go to the other camera. I was I was sitting there looking at the pictures on my husband's uh, computer. He has a, you know, a rolling thing of all our pictures. I get, I get drawn into that sometimes. Okay, we got an NDD. Oh, female, cute. That's cute. The last uh, yesterday's. I don't know. It seemed like the Pokemon were really ugly. All right. So this says how to use your binder. This was the the reason I bought this is this is one of those deals where you would get you know a subscription thing, pay for of course, um, of something I have this in recipes you know this is probably the first one I've had in uh, knitting patterns but um, over the years uh, I've done a number of the recipe ones so yeah they're, they're kind of gimmicky and yeah they add up you know but um, once I get it I have saved it I will say I haven't used the recipes as much as I thought I would um, but couldn't resist because I like to cook and everything so this that's what this is and evidently when you got your binder you got it with all of these different tabs and each of the cards of course then tell you what tab to put it under so what I'm gonna do is go through this knitting abbreviations um, this is all of the different tabs and you know we've got basic special knitting know-how stitch and pattern library finishing and trims and adapting so six of them are not patterns um i wonder if those are i think those are in the back yep those are in the back okay so what i'm going to do is if I like it, if it's something I'm interested in, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of here, put it in the front of the the binder as a kind of a okay. This is one I really want to do. Oh, and it's it's a card, all right. But look how look these are so dated. I mean, yeah, okay. This is all going to come back, isn't it? <laughs> I, the the hair is just like oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know if I have um, dates on this or not. Let me see. Yeah, it's in Roman numerals. 19, 10, 20, 35. No, it can't be. Oh, 50, 60, 70, 86. 80s. Oh, so it's mid 80s. Yeah. Let's go look at this. I kind of like this. The look of this cardigan but I also need to look at the sizes it uses a bulky weight mohair yeah basic construction I like the construction yep pretty small sizes probably be a problem 40, 42, and 44. I'm going to pull that out, but I'll, maybe I'll run across a cardigan I like better. I love, I just absolutely love how 
period that looks. Alright. Ladies pattern sweater. I like the neck too. That's a cool neckline. You must, okay. So we've got a front with a V. So then you must put the collar on it. Yeah, pick it all up around there and put a collar on it. But I wouldn't want to do the pattern. The basic cable. I'll tell you one thing I would like to find is a short sleeved. I have one short sleeved sweater that I bought, purchased. I love it. You know, just to wear with slacks in the um, spring or summer, uh, spring or winter, uh, fall. Oh, God. <laughs> That's kind of a cool vest, though. It's got like a herringbone pattern. What's it called? Tweed stitch. Yeah, I like that. Baggy sweater. Now, see, so if that truly is size large, let's see here. 45 of 45 bust. That would work. I don't like the, I don't want the pattern. That scarf and mitt. I think the thing about scarves that I, you know, they can have interesting knitting patterns. That kind of looks lacy. What are they doing here? Where's the pattern? Knit, knit two, purl. Okay. Second row, purl two, knit two, purl two. Huh? It's not any kind of lace. It's just a rib. It's just ribbon. That's cool. Great big blue cardigan. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. A lot of buttons. A lot of buttons. These are hmm. I'm not sure. This one is definitely easier and definitely bigger. Now this has sleeves that they've pulled up. Yeah, these have short sleeves. I don't care for the style though. Be easy with just that cabling. Yeah, that's real basic. There's hardly any shape to that. I can't tell on her though. She looks good in it. I like these boat necks too on sweaters. I really like those. And it's a pullover. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love green and pink. Be too fitted, I think. For me. Is this made out? It looks like cotton. What's the material? Yep, it's cotton. Cotton blue clay. Hmm. 
wonder if cotton would stretch like alpaca does and stuff. Oh, look at the construction on this. I would do this just to do the construction. This is the front, this is the back, and these are the sleeves. Huh. the construction on that. That's interesting. Okay. No, thank you. I don't care for that. <laughs> I don't think she does either. <laughs> she doesn't look too happy. <laughs> Ooh, is this a cape? No, just the vest. Okay. That is a really nice basic vest. Let's see this other vest here. That's a seed stitch and button up. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the basic one. Oh, pretty yellow. Okay. I don't know what that's made out of. Shaw collar. I don't care for that collar at all. It's not big enough. It should be bigger. Worst away cotton. Cotton blue clay. I don't like twin sets. I don't like the pattern. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is the under. Oh, and it, shoot, it's a long sleeved, un, uh, over a long sleeved. I don't think I'd like that either. I'm opinionated, I know. Just a basic cardigan, oh, a jacket. Slip stitch. I would never wear a sweater buttoned up like that, I don't think. Nope. Boy, that's 80s. And she is as skinny as a rail. Now that's nice. I like that. I know what that's made out of. Bulky weight. You know, I'm always looking. Bulky weight doesn't necessarily mean bulky, bulky, but what I do in hand spun ends up being just about what they would call bulky weight. So this would work. This should work with some of my hand spun. Um, I wonder what makes this a harder pattern. must have a lot of uh, shaping. It has a lot of shaping, I guess, to the front pieces. I really like that one. That one is actually going to go on top of the pile. Alright, this is super chic. Hmm. There's a short sleeve. I don't think I like the sleeves though. It's made out of sport weight. Now that's interesting. This is ribbon running through there. Wow, that's really different. That's nice. Probably too fitted, too small. Yeah. Oh, 
there we go. I like that as a shell. I like little cap sleeves. That doesn't show on here though as cap sleeves. I think it's just big on her. size on that. I don't know, that might have to have a lot of adjustment, but it's pretty. Mohair, I love mohair, but I don't like wearing it. I like the look of it. This says bulky knit. I wonder how much it would take. Bulky weight mohair or mohair blend. Okay, so this is something that they did not do very well in the 80s. <laughs> if they gave you the material, you know, our patterns now, they'll say, what this is made out of such and such, um, what you're looking at. It's made out of such and such. And it has this band information. And so you can figure out your yardage, right? They don't do that on here. They just say... For my size, 21 ounces of more hair. Hmm. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> uh, it's not for me, but it's side buttoned. It's really avant garde. <laughs> It just a standard pullover. Huh. All of this is made with mohair. I didn't really catch that maybe that was what they were doing. I would, no, man, I would not tolerate that color. <laughs> Does that have two peeps? multiple open pens. Oh, it's a set. Can be worn together or on their own. Matching top has rolled edges and long sleeve sweater has a lovely big collar. So the long sleeve sweater, and then this goes over it, but it hit it hits right at the waistline, and this goes on down. That that's that's bizarre. That's a very different <laughs> design. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> it's it's like putting a vest with sleeves over a sweater with sleeves. Huh. Oh, I like that. Now, do I have to knit the stripes? Probably. Let me see here. Main color pearl, main color knit, main color pearl, main color knit, contrasting color. Pearl one with two wraps around needle. Repeat to end. Drop. Okay, dropping next. Oh, it's a drop stitch. It sure didn't look like it. I kind of like that. That's different. <clears throat> That's one white sleeve and one gray sleeve. Oh, they were calling it asymmetrical. I was wondering why. Oh, 
not too many summer specials here. All right. Tea sweater. I don't like those kind of necks they stretch out for me. I don't like that much open work. But I like the shape. It's just, it's not looking good in the cotton. That's nice. That's very dressy. I like the sleeve length. I like the collar. Oh, very basic pattern front and back. And then it's all, let's see. Ah, you're crocheting. Okay, work round one in slip stitches evenly spaced all around the neck edge. Join and work next round with scallops working six chains. Really? Starting at left shoulder, work scallops along diagonal stitch pattern on front of garment. Oh, I see what they're doing. I'm looking at the wrong picture. It's this. Yeah, there's the chains. Well, shoot. Not sure I like that. <clears throat> That's linen. Linen look yarn. Okay. That's too open. Fun knits. Oh, goodness. All right. Somebody put this one in a interesting holder. Huh. How about that? You know, I think I'm going to take that out of there and put that in the front and use that for whatever pattern I do. I think that's what that's for. Right? So it doesn't mess up your pattern when you're carrying it. Hmm. Now there is a very interesting construction. You have a point to point. Let me get this out of here. Point to point square. Oh, that doesn't have it. Okay. So you have a point to point square. You have a yoke and a sleeve, sleeve band, bottom ribbon. Good grief. That looks complicated. Five color pattern. Okay, that would drive me crazy. <laughs> Easy construction though. And so hard to get to fit. Okay, this does not have a hood, does it? No. The hood is separate. It's a nice two color work. Coats and jackets. You know, I have never knitted a coat. Yeah, that's a cardigan. That is nice. I don't know why they call that a fisherman's rib. Oh, let me see what the pattern is. Knit one below, knit into 
next stitch one row below and at the same time slipping off stitch above oh, so it has a specific it's got raglan armholes I like that it's got pocket linings I mean it has pockets yes it has pockets that's another thing I like This is with a zipper. I have never put a zipper in any sweater. That's a good one. Yeah, very open. You can't tell that, except that she's got it. She's wearing it over a blouse. Ooh, how neat. That's a fair isle. Fair isle and mohair. Interesting concept. Double breasted, two rows of buttons. Interesting design. Worsted weight. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Stripes. Looks felded. It almost looks felded. Okay, this is kids. Oh. <laughs> The models are better than the sweaters. What kid would wear that? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh that that's adorable. Looks like something hubby would wear. It's made out of worcester weight cotton. He wouldn't like the cotton. He, I, I mean, he's a acrylic man. <laughs> Might as well buy the acrylic yarn. He has a bright Christmas green vest that he has worn every Christmas since we met. <laughs> he wears it that one day, right, for Christmas. <laughs> That's the way men are with their clothes. I, he would not wear that collar. <laughs> he wouldn't like that collar. I kind of like that pattern. wonder, let me see here. Yeah, I could do that for me. I kind of like that.
Okay, welcome back. I saved the baby ones. I stopped because we are at baby ones and the, these are always so, you know. Oh. <laughs> and I love that hat. I wonder if that is in here. That looks like a hat that would stay on. But it's not. I mean, it's not in here. It's just the baby sweater. That's a cute pattern. That, I would not do the onesie things or um, soaker things, any of that. I would not waste my time knitting on that. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's got pants too. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I'm going to have to do that. Who knows who's going to get it, but what sizes we got here. 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9. I do 6 to 9. Yep, sport weight yarn. Oh, man. So cute. All right, that's it on the patterns. We got basic techniques, casting on, knitting, shaping, that's your decreases, multicolor knitting, and they say. I was just looking to see if they had any tips on multicolor color work, but they really don't. Special techniques. Oh, smocking. Yes. Honeycomb stitch. <laughs> Crochet looking knitting is fillet. Or fillet, fillet, fillet knitting. Yeah, like that. How to join your yarn, understand, engage French knitting. Oh, I see. Okay, let's back up here. <clears throat> That's bobbin, that's spool knitting. Okay, yeah, that's spool knitting. I didn't know they called it French knitting. There's the spool. This is out of order. <clears throat> I have never tried that. I need to try that sometime. I have never. I'm not even sure I have a, uh, anything that is usable. I know you can make them. That's the whole point. Alright, Stitch and Pattern Library, Fishman Cables. This is a pretty small library. Triangle Patterns. Crochet. Look. Stitches, trellis pattern, show, striped eyelet, daisy stitch. Making nice motifs. 
<laughs> some Toyland graphs. Finishing. Oh, they have a lace collar here to knit. Now that's nice. And lace for trimming. Of course, I have plenty of books that are that way. But. Two unusual edgings. Yes, they are. Rainbow tucked edge. That's this one. That is cool for blanket. That'd be really cool. And what's the second one? Jester. Okay. It looks like it's squares. I like that rainbow tucked edge. Christmas knits. Balls and tassels. What are they doing here? Okay, the ball is made in six sections. Cast on one stitch and work as follows. Knit into the front and back of the stitch, then purl a row. Increase one stitch at each end of the next row and alternate rows. Work with three rows straight. Increase one stitch. Okay, so that's just going to make a knitted ball. That's kind of handy to have. Assembling a garment. Only well, only have one thing here. Toys <laughs> for the very young. Okay, that was. is um, kind of good for getting the juices flowing here. I will say the one thing I have picked up and I am starting to work on is my sweater, crocheted sweater. I really need it to do. Okay, let's put this in first. find a place on my shelf for this. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad for five dollars. Not bad. Alright. Let's do some puzzles. I have an advent calendar of puzzles. Looked like this. And each one's a puzzle, and each one's a cat puzzle, actually, because it's all cats. That's why it's got cats on the front there. Um, as you can see, I got this not December 1st. <laughs> so, <coughs> I'm doing it now. <laughs> I gave my daughter a Spice Advent calendar. Um box or whatever and it had all these different for each day you know spices for each day here's my box the nice thing is this box shows you what the pattern is supposed to look like how can I show that like that yeah that's what the one I'm working on here 
Oh, and really, that is that is pretty adorable because that is a kitten with a hat on. You don't see its head at all. Its head is completely gone in the hat. So that's awfully cute. Um, and uh, I, you know, I had originally bought it thinking that I would give it to her as an advent calendar on December 1st. And I could not find an advent calendar for my grandson. I couldn't find a candy one. I waited too late to look for it, I think. So, unfortunately, I decided, oh, well, I'm not going to do the advent calendar thing because I don't have anything for him. And I just gave it to her at Christmas and I just said, ignore the fact it's an advent calendar and enjoy all your 25 days of spices. <laughs> And she is. She sent me a picture of the salt, one of the salts that they had in there. It's pretty cool. It was like created by roasting water on a log or something real bizarre. <laughs> These are seven by seven. Seven by seven. They're all, I've, yeah, it took me three before I finally figured that out, but yeah, they're seven by seven. Are we in the camera? I need to, I am making a big shadow there, but there we go. <clears throat> I can do it a little broader. Maybe. Like that. There we go. Okay, that does not go that way. It goes that way. I had the wrong... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. All right. an edge over here. I don't see any.
that goes there. That's not an edge. I know this one is the end there. This one goes there. Okay, something is the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this one, I don't think this one's right. Uh, okay. It's this, they do these stupid, that's an edge right there. I never, I always miss those. It does not go there. here. There we go. Okay. Oh, that was sneaky. Okay. I'm missing a little piece. Right there it is. Oops. Right there it is. Right there. Alright, so this does go here. There we go. I wish I didn't have such glare on the camera. Sorry about that. These are the cat. You don't see anything hardly of the cat <laughs> because it's the cap is over its head. <laughs> All right, let's do this.
I don't feel like I have enough, like I'm missing, I feel like I'm missing green pieces. <clears throat> this has to go there. I am missing a green piece. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> it helps if you would get them all out of your little bag. Duh. see a good there <laughs> with a hat <laughs> hi Holly you just got back home you, oh you went to out to lunch with your mom how's nice I hope you had a good time I hope she's well all right now we got a red one and it's a black and white kitty I got all the pieces out of this and this is what it looks like this is what we're gonna do This is a perfect size for my attention span. <laughs> I like doing big jigsaw puzzles too, and I have big ones going uh, in Florida where they can just sit out, but I don't do anything like that here. This is kind of pushing it. Um, I have to keep it in this room where the cat can't get in here so he doesn't go flip it, right? jump up on it and send the pieces flying and uh, hubby has been known to walk by and get pulled in and put a little bit of puzzle together so that's been nice too got three corners I've got four corners you're trying to get her to go back all the time instead of them delivering to her one day a week and then go from there okay <laughs> thank you for my stickers uh, yeah It's uh, it's just a community activity center, right?
It's funny when I open up these puzzles, every one I find a one, one set of two. <laughs> it's like they give you a head start. <laughs> I don't think it's intentional, but it's kind of funny. much luck here. Oh, that does go there. Okay. That this goes here. Yes. Okay. Darn ads. Y'all back? I think you're back. Sorry about the ads. Thank you for watching them. I appreciate it. I have gotten the frame together here. Like I said, it's just 7 by 7. There we go.
This music's just kind of weird. <laughs> it hasn't been full of ads, I will say that. Green eyes. <laughs> White spot. Where's this one go? How's this one go? Okay, that didn't go there. That one's wrong. All right. There we go. Ooh, eyes are <laughs> deceiving. there so this one has to go right there there we go there's the key looking like oh that's glaring sorry let me keep it there looking like what are you taking my photo for was day five and six. Let's get a few more days out here. Here's, oh, six I just did. So here's seven. Ooh, seven's stuck. That's not good. It's really stuck. Here it comes. Oh, 
this is not happy at all. It must be, yep, it was stuck on the edge there. All right, there's seven and eight. I'm going to take them apart and put them back in their box after I put them together. <laughs> I am just doing this because I got a whim to buy this Advent thing and then didn't do it during December. So I thought, well, I'm just going to do it all at once. Okay, this one has a kitty in a box. <laughs> I promise there won't be too many puzzle streams. I, you know, I'm doing all sorts of different things, right? Crafty things, or like, like kids playing with their new Christmas toys. Just doing different things for the 12 days of Christmas. So you never know what what I'll be up to next. Miss Newman, he was in at the beginning of the stream. He didn't want to leave the room, so I had to love on him for a while, get him happy. And then he went out. He's spoiled anyway. I mean, ever since uh, the last two or three days, I have been just sitting in my chair and he's been in my lap. He's been really spoiled anyway. I guess he's figuring he deserves it, huh? Where's my box? I need my picture. Oh, yeah, the red box goes. Oh, we've got, okay, we've got holly and, I mean, greens and, um, this is all across the top. This is on the bottom. Where are my corners? Here's one. Okay, there's one corner. Corner, okay, the corners are green and red. <clears throat> Here's the other corner. Coffee sounds good. Alright, there we go. 
else there. There's a corner that goes there. Let's be this one. No, oh, it's not. It's the only other corner. Don't, neither, none of those go there. Okay. That's weird. Well, this one did go there. I didn't think it did. Oh no, I was okay. I was doing something about that. <coughs> Iggly buff. <laughs> Iggy buff. Iggly buff. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> they look so happy. Where's the kitty? It's always the kitty's always last. It seems like I always get the kitty last. Alright, 
this has to go there. Yes. No other choice that goes there. There's key eyes. There's another kitty eye. You're back. We got some coffee as a gift from our sister-in-law's son. Makes our nephew. <laughs> um, that's from Seattle. Because that's where he lives. But it's not Seattle best. It's a more smaller roaster. Looking forward to trying that. in a box. Oh, don't they love boxes? <laughs> Let me get this so it doesn't shine so much. You like sporting? Yeah. I agree. You know, it's... I, I'm, hubby and I have been together uh, 26 years, and all of these nieces and nephews were babies, you know, when we first met. And I'm, it's just so interesting to do the family thing and have that many adults now, if you understand why. They don't have kids yet, so, you know, obviously we're at that point where they're married and getting established in their career and, but they don't have kids yet but we don't have the next generation coming along yet but it just is something to see adults and I've had this thought with my grandson right try as I might I can't visualize him as an adult what he's going to be like Maybe that's me not wanting him to grow up, but I can't help that. He's he's going to do that. He's going to grow up. All right, this is going to be the last one I put together on the stream. Just wanted to do a couple so you guys could see this advent thing. It's pretty cool. This little kitten. This is a little kitten. 
I swear it looks like it's crying. Sure, I'm working in camera here. Let me scooch these up. There we go. Okay, I missed an edge here. this one. Oh, that goes there. Well, let me check the bag again. It's happened before. Nope, nope, nope. That's this one. Nope. Okay, this, oh, I bet this goes here.
you know, I truly am wondering if this one is missing a piece. <coughs> maybe, maybe it, I don't think it dropped on the floor. I'm not having very much luck with this one. Oh, I'm sorry you guys are in ads. You all back? It doesn't it seem like it's been a high number of ads. Seems like it to me. More than normal. There's the piece. There's the piece I was missing. Just couldn't tell it was an edge. Good. I'm glad there's not one missing. Thank you, Allie. Oh, hydrate. Yes. 
Stretch. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. My... When I look down so much, my, my head thing doesn't want to stay on. Alright, stretch. I totally forgot it to scream. Usually I catch it in an hour. Totally forgot it. Oh, that feels so good. Yes. That feels good. Cheers. Just drinking water today. I thought about getting a glass of wine and I kind of forgot. Let's see. Who all is here today? We've got Holly. We have Mass Bandit. And... Thank you, Holly. I have been thinking about putting, I've got a bunch of hats pulled. I think I've been thinking about um, setting it up so you can redeem for me to put a hat on for 15 minutes. But I haven't done it yet. This one turned out to be difficult. It really isn't. It just didn't go as quick as a lot of the others. Oh, that's where this one goes. There. That's the poor little kitty's mouth that just looks like he's crying. I think that's the saddest one yet. I mean, all the other have been adorable, but that one just looks like it's really, really unhappy. <laughs> uh, also, very young. Looks very young. All right. We put these away in here. There's 24. I wonder what 24 looks like. Can't wait to see that. I'm not going to get all of them on here. I was thinking I might. I, I might. I might be able to go this way. Let's see if I can get six on here. Not really. No way. No way. Not going to work. One, two, three, four, five. Probably by probably twenty. Yeah, probably twenty. I'll just take the top row off and go on from there. 
Well, let's go see. There's not many of us, but let's go see if there's people to... Oh! Oh yeah, I didn't realize. Yeah, and I didn't realize you had said that. I didn't catch that. I just saw your stretch and hydrate. I didn't catch that you were on your way. Have safe journeys. And I will catch you again next time. Alright. Here's Twitch. Let's see who's streaming. Oh, go back to Twitch. This is the channel thing. There we go. Got diamond painting and spinning yarn. She's being diverse like me. Uh, Exalia. I haven't seen her for a long time. Talking about a cardigan. KB is still on. I'm going to go see KB Fibers. Haven't seen her for a while. I know a place that will break you into a thousand pieces. Stay away from them. Stay away from Lorca, Paco, and Kakasa. Don't. So I'll be back tomorrow, and I don't know the time. I will let you all know via the Discord, and let's see, tomorrow is Thursday. As far as I know, um, I'll do another afternoon stream, I, as far as I know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? So, that's right. And I will see you all sometime tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye.